Welcome to another new feature release from us at Zendler. So this is email domain authentication. So what does that mean to you guys? Well, it's basically we're working hard to make sure that the deliverability of your mails to your recipients get through to their inbox and don't get put into their junk or their spam folder. So that is it in a nutshell. So what we've done is we've introduced the email domain authentication inside of the Zenla mail inside of integrations. And you're going to now see that you have this email domain authentication in here, which you can set up. So to set it up is pretty easy. We just need to add three records into your host DNS editor. So if you guys have set up a custom domain, then or a subdomain, then you guys will be familiar with setting up CNAME records. It's really simple. I'm going to take you through the process step by step. And what it will mean at the end of the day is that your mails will be will get through um, to their inbox much better. Uh, there's a few other little things we put in here as well, such as checking out your reputation as well. So let's move forwards and I'll just take you through the process and we can uh, look at all the options as we work our way through this little workshop. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is an email that's already sent out by the system. Okay, so this is an email that's already sent out and I wanna show you the differences. So you can see later on the differences between the two emails. So if I come into this test email here that I've sent without email domain authentication set up, you're going to see in here that underneath this to me, um, and I show the details, you're going to see that it shows signed by newzenla.com. Okay, now this is, um, you won't actually see this, it's just the actual mail server that will see this, so that your, your Gmail or your Outlook or whatever you're using, it will actually see this and it will take it and it will give it a new reputation based on that. So you can see it's via newzenla.com in there. Now this does not apply to system emails that are still showing no reply at newzenda.com, but it reply it does work for all of your email broadcasts and any of the automation setup. So if you bypass all the system emails, you're going to get domain authentication for all the mails that you send out through the system itself. So let's jump in now and start to set this up. So underneath, you go into your site, go into integrations, and you can go down to domain authentication. Now, before I do that, I just click in here and I make sure the details are all correct to my actual email address that I want to use. Okay, so just make sure that they are set up and you can save that. And then I'm going to go down to domain authentication. Now, this works whether you have a custom or a subdomain or you don't have a custom or subdomain set up at all. So let's go to email authentication and you're going to read here a little bit of information. Email domain authentication shows email providers like Gmail that you are a real business and Zenla has your permissions to send emails on your behalf. To give Zenla permissions, you point your DNS entries to your DNS provider to Zenla. Your recipients will no longer see the via newzenla.com message on your emails so you can read a little bit more about it down here even though this is a small change for your recipients perspective this change has a huge impact on your reputation as a sender and your email deliverability email services provide providers distrust messages that you don't have domain authentication set up because you cannot be sure that that message comes from you now explicitly stating that it comes from you, you you increases so explicitly stating explicitly stating that it comes from you increases your reputation with email service providers which makes it much less likely that they will filter your mail and not allow it to get to your recipient's inbox so which increases your deliverability you are also explicitly showing your recipients that this email comes from you so they are less likely to mark you your mails as spam so this is it in a nutshell and uh, this is why we're doing this so if we hit now authenticate your domain 
you're going to get your first thing come up. So I'm going to put in, notice I'm not going to use the HTTP or HTTPS or www. I'm just going to put in straight into the domain surf-dudes.com. So I'm going to enable use automated security here. So automated security is on. It generates three different CNAME records. If you select off, it will generate one MX record or two text records. So it's up to you, but I leave this on. It generates three records that you will put into your DNS on your host. So let's click proceed now, and you're going to see this come up. So it's really simple now to set these up. These are three records here. This is one record. This is two records, and this is three records. Okay, so now I'm going to log into my host and I'm going to go into my D DNS editor. Now I'm using cPanel, but um, GoDaddy and all of the ones have these options to add CNAME records. And if you guys have add up, added a custom or subdomain, you'll already be familiar with adding C records. So we're going to go down to my site here, which is surfdudes.com, and I'm going to click add CNAME record. Now the first one I'm going to grab is the name, which is this first one, or the host. So I'm going to click copy to that. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to paste it into here. Like so I'm going to jump back to here now. And I'm going to copy this record. Remember these are relating to each other, these three. Let's copy that, come back in here. And now this is the actual C name record. And we're going to click add C name. So that's one of them is now done. I'm going to click C name record again. I'm going to jump back in here, grab the next one down, copy this, come across to here, paste that in. We're going to come back to here again. And I'm going to copy this part, jump back to here, paste that in there, and hit add C name record. I'm going to create a, the third C name record now. So I'm going to jump back to here, copy this, jump back to here, paste, back to here again, copy this last one, come across to here and paste that in, and click add C name record. Now I'm just going to manage and just check those records have gone in. So I'm going to go into my manage tab. You might not have to do this. And I can see these have been added. So I can see those records are in there. They relate to this in here. So once that's done, I'm going to click, I've added these records and I'm going to click verify. Now, if it doesn't verify straight away, it means you have to wait about five to 10 minutes. Okay, now we are verified. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a test email out and we're going to look at that header and we're going to see that it will now have changed to this. And with that extra authentication, it's going to mean that it will get through um, and rather than go into the trash or the spam folder. OK, guys, so now we've set up email domain authentication. Let's just do another test to our Gmail account. So I'm going to just um, send this uh, to me as a student and we'll check it that way. So I've come into me as a student here, sending to my dummy Gmail account, and I'm going to hit send mail, and I'm going to go test from authenticated domain email. Okay, something like that. Okay, and I'll put subject here. authenticated email okay just something like that right let's just hit send and that's going to stream off to my gmail account so if i come in here now um and we just refresh the box yeah there we go so let's have a look at this now compared to the other one. So if we click this open here, what you're going to see is nothing at the end here. And to me, under here, now we have signed by Surf Dudes. So it has authenticated it. Remember on the original one before we did this, we had this and we had this signed by newzenla.com. So authentication has worked and we are now in a much better situation for deliverability to our recipients via the Zenda platform. Okay, so we can also check the reputation of the mails that you're sending out and you can also use it as a way to check 
that your list is clean. So if we go up to your account settings under my account and you go to your stats over here on the left, you're going to see that we now have this Zenla mail and inside this Zenla mail it tells you where um, how many credits you've got left on your mail, um, your sender reputation and this is a key because under here the sender reputation reflects the last 30 days and is updated daily. It goes up for every delivered mail and down for every bounce or spam report. Now you should be looking at this to make sure that you have at least like a 98% um, reputation. If it is lower, then it is suggested that you do check that your students, your list is actually your contact list for your students and people that register on your site, that it's clean and make sure there's no um, dodgy email addresses in there or fake email addresses or check the bounce rate and maybe clean and remove those if they are non-users uh, because that will affect this sender reputation bar that you have here. So this is a new feature from us at Zenla. Uh, I think it's pretty much covers everything you need to just exceed, exceed your uh, reputation and also get more mails going through to your students and um, a more a better success rate with a cleaner integration from us at Zenla.